Hello, this is Pete from Electric Bike Report, and today I have the Prodeco Outlaw SS electric mountain bike in for testing and review. Now this is a uh, pretty unique electric bike. It's actually uh, designated as off-road only because it goes above the normal US uh, electric bike regulations. It goes up to 28 miles an hour and it has uh, 750 watts of power. So normally uh, to be considered a traditional bicycle, uh, it needs to be limited to 20 miles an hour with throttle only. So uh, this one goes up to 28 and it's uh, designated as, as off-road only. So let's take a look at the motor. This is the uh, large 750 watt, 28 mile an hour motor. Um, pretty powerful and fast. And uh, you can see it's um, laced up to a pretty wide rim there. Has the uh, Avid Elixir 5 hydraulic uh, rear disc brake with 200 millimeter rotors. And uh, also it has a uh, quick disconnect right there. So if you need to pull the wheel off, you can quickly disconnect it there. And uh, yeah, overall pretty uh, powerful motor. Now this is the uh, lithium iron phosphate battery pack from Prodeco. This is the 51.2 volt, nine amp hour battery pack. And it mounts to the rack here and there's a, uh, a key that turns, currently the bike is on, this is off. And then if you turn the key all the way this way, then you can slide the battery pack off the uh, back of the rack. So uh, you can see the rack here, it's tied into the, uh, the frame uh, at the seat tube and then it uh, connects down there at the bottom. So, uh, and then while we're talking about the electrical controls, here's the thumb throttle that uh, is on this bike. And you can see that it provides you an indication of the battery level, uh, full, half, and empty. And then it also has a on off switch. So um, if you wanna just be pedaling around and not using the throttle, uh, you can just turn it off there. And even if you you know bump the thumb throttle, it, it won't accelerate. But that's in the on position right there. So, um, so there's the throttle system. And uh, you can see it has these sort of leather style uh, lock on grips right here. And this is the, uh, the grip shift uh, XO shifter. It's an eight speed shifter there and uh, provides some pretty crisp shifting. And uh, while we're on the front, uh, let's talk about the uh, front suspension fork. This thing is big. <laughs> it's, uh, it's about uh, 140 millimeters of travel, has the double crown. That's uh, actually about five and a half inches of travel. It also has the uh, 20 millimeter through axle right here. So it makes the whole front end, uh, you know, you pretty much point it and it goes. Uh, there's no, no flex in the system. And uh, these are the Elixir uh, 5 Avid brakes again, hydraulic disc brakes, 200 millimeter rotors. And uh, while we're uh, taking a look at the front wheel, here's the uh, Continental Trail King. These tires are super wide, 2.4 inches wide, 26 inch wheel size, um, pretty aggressive tread. So uh, nice spec on the tire there. And then uh, here's the uh, Avid Elixir 5 uh, hydraulic brake levers. Uh, pretty, pretty standard in the, the whole mountain bike world. And uh, you can also see the uh, Truvative handlebars uh, and a Truvative stem there, uh, also well-known brand names. And um, as we come around here, you can see uh, the Truvative pedals, the platform pedal there, and the uh, SRAM cranks uh, on the bike. And then uh, as we come back around here and take a look at the uh, SRAM X9 uh, rear derailleur there, um, nice, uh, nice crisp shifting. So. Anyways, uh, that is just a little preview of uh, the Outlaw SS. I'll have a, uh, a full review coming to you soon at uh, electricbikereport.com. So stay tuned.